stuff. You thought that was a treat. You may remember that steer that went viral in Australia a few weeks ago. You probably did not know that San Diego has its own giant steer. Yes, yeah, we do. I think it's tied for the record. <laughs> Allie is in Ramona learning all about cowboy. Good morning, Allie. Hi, Allie. Hi, you guys. Yeah, so we are hanging out in Ramona with pretty much the biggest cow you could ever imagine. This is Cowboy, and he is just under six foot four? Yes. Just about six uh, foot four. Yes, just about six foot four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lindsay, so tell me a little bit, tell me some fun, but now his hooves are massive, but like, tell me a little bit about him and how you got him. We rescued him here locally. His previous owner passed away and he was basically starving. So we, we got a phone call and we went over and picked him up. With a, with a bunch of people. <laughs> we just camped out outside till they said yes. <laughs> and and I, you were telling me you fell in love with him immediately. And he almost, because he's been kept with horses a lot, he thinks he's a horse. Yes, he very much thinks he's a horse. I don't know if he's ever seen another steer or cow in his life. <laughs> really? Yeah. So he, he's like, I am unsure. But I, I wonder if he has any idea how massive he really is. Because just standing next to him... I'm like, he is so, he's bigger than any horse I've been around. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely, well, I mean, he's taller than a Clydesdale. I mean, he's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Massive. What? How in the world do you feed a 3,000-pound cow? Uh, we feed him twice a day in the morning and in the evening, and he gets about anywhere from two to four flakes during those feedings, and then we also free feed him out in the pasture. Um, today, we weren't able to get up there because yeah. it's too muddy and slippery, but um, yeah, so we just put giant bags of hay out there, and he just free feeds at his leisure, so. Oh, I would imagine, <laughs> is this insane to think that he's that, but I mean, did that, like, intimidate you at all? What's it like? Yeah, yeah, definitely the first day we went to pick him up, I was, like, really, really scared. I kept hiding behind the panels, but he was a lot more aggressive then, too, and, but now we go out, and I hang out with him in the field, and we run around and play together, so, uh, yeah. Do you ever playing with the giant <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> steer? Yeah, he's like a giant puppy dog. Well, he's, he, I don't know if anybody else could do that, but him and I have built a lot of trust and a really good relationship. I've actually taught him how to pick up his feet for me, too. Oh, so you pick up his feet and yeah. you actually clean his feet out? If he ever has infection, like during the rain, sometimes he'll get like a little bit of like thrush or something going on in there and he'll pick up his feet for me. <laughs> That is incredible. I'm all, how many people does it take to hold them? <laughs> Just me. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Well, he is so cool. I can't even believe. So, you know, when we're hearing about these big giant cows, who knew that there was one right here in Ramona who's as sweet as could be? He is like the sweetest cow. I'm like, hi, bud. I know. What a sweetheart, you guys. Back over to you. That's a big old steer. That, that steer is so big, it confuses everybody. It's not a cow. It's not a cow. It's a steer. It's a he. And he's big. He had the horns. <laughs> he's humongous. Just give it away. He just looks like a cow. Sorry about that. All right.